Before you buy the Ocedar Easy Ring Rinse Clean Mop that is new on the market now, you need to watch this video. This is going to serve you some research time because in this video, I'm going to do a thorough review of this mop and give you my own opinion on the pros and cons of this mop. And by the way, this is not a sponsored video. This will help you make an informed decision whether it's worth buying or not. We have used the old version for the past four years in our cleaning business it did the job it worked but it lacked something that this new map has so stay tuned to find out hi friends Tendi here welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome and show your girl some love by subscribing to the channel let's get into the review straight from the box here's what it comes with one microfiber mop head a two tank bucket system with separate tanks for clean and dirty water i bought the mop for $44.99 and i'll put the link below on where you can get it on the clean tank side, there is a red lever that brings out clean water and there is also this opening here with a lid where you can fill the tank with clean water and add any cleaning product of your choice. It also comes with this telescopic candle that adjusts to 48 inches and 51 inches with mop head attached. I am 5.6 tall and it's easy for me to use. The telescopic handle attaches to this triangle shaped mop base for easy movement and corner cleaning. Please note the mop does not come with an instruction manual copy inside the box. They put all the information or instructions under the box here. According to the manufacturer, the mop can be used on all hard surfaces like wood and laminate wood floors, tile and marble. I would recommend you make sure the mop is not too damp when cleaning wood or laminate wood floors because too much water on them will damage the floors. To use the mop, remove the clean water tank from the bucket. Make sure the water release lever is down in closed position and put water in the clean water tank and add any cleaning solution of your choice. After filling the tank, close the blue fill cap and shake the clean tank to mix water and product and then place the tank back in the bucket. Lift the red water release lever and let the water in. The rinsing chamber will fill with just enough water to wet or rinse the mop and the lever can remain open. Attach the base to the mop head like so. Make sure both the mop head and the base are aligned on all three corners. Extend the telescopic handle to your desired height and attach it to the mop. Let's try this mop on different floors and see how it works. Here I'm testing how the mop absorbs liquids like this milk on the laminate wood floors. I would say I'm impressed at how it worked here. All the milk is gone and the mop head also lugged the liquid in. It didn't drip at all. On the ketchup the same thing, it cleaned the spill very well absorbing all the ketchup. On this part, the mop removed the eyeliner pencil on the floors as well. I also tried the mop on these glossy wood laminate floors.
It did work to a certain extent and cleaned out most of the dirt, but it also left some streaks on some spots. On the other non-glassy floors, I didn't have the issue with streaks as you can see here. On the tile and laminate in the bathroom, it removed the makeup which was on the floor. The map did work well on tile and this bathroom laminate flows. On the marble, that's another glossy surface. It left some streaks as you can see here. Okay, so this mop does not only clean the tiles or the hood floors or that stuff. It can also be used to clean walls and baseboards. The adjustable handle comes in handy here. If you have ever used this mop, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So here are the pros of this mop. The two tank bucket system is a great feature because it makes it possible to use clean water to rinse the mop. As you are mopping, the dirty water goes into a separate tank and the two do not mix which is pretty cool. I have used the old model before for years and it worked well but the thing is it didn't have a separate tank for clean water and I would keep on using the same dirty water to rinse off the mop head. So this is a game changer y'all. In addition, it has a hands-free foot activated pedal that allows you to control the amount of water to put on the floors. The cool thing about the microfiber mop head is you can toss it in your washer after use and let it air dry. So according to the manufacturer, this mop head can last up to 3 months. This makes good economic sense since it saves money compared to buying disposable mopping pads. Another advantage is it's easy to use around furniture or corners. The small base and mop head make it easier to fit in tight spots. In addition, I like that the telescopic handle is adjustable and easy to store. Also, another cool feature on the map is on the map handle, here there is a resting place for the map in case you want to take a break, no need to rest the map on the wall. Also, the map here does not drip any water. The microfiber strands have the ability to lock in the water, which is a good feature compared to the traditional map. Moving on, here are the cons I've noticed on this mop. You have to leave the bucket because it doesn't have wheels. This can be a tiresome task. If you have a large area to mop, it will be much easier if the bucket had wheels because you just push the bucket instead of lifting it up. Like I said earlier, when mopping wood or laminate wood floors, you really have to make sure the mop is not too damp so as not to damage the floors. You will need to wring it out at least two to three times. But this is not an issue on other hard floors like tile. One thing I wish could be improved is the base of the map. It's very small like I said compared to the older version. I understand it so it can fit properly in the ringing side of the bucket. I actually prefer the map base of the older map because it's bigger and therefore clean faster than the map base of this new map. Overall, having gone through a number of maps, I do recommend this map. It washes the floors well and no need to use dirty water to rinse the map. This is a no-brainer guys. You can see how dirty this water is guys. Also, if you're like me and don't want to bend down and touch a dirty map to wring it out, this is also for you, my friend. That's it, friends. I hope you learned something new today. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if this was helpful to you. Also, remember to subscribe and to click the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload another video. And I'll love you forever. <laughs> 
Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.